Um, 17 for the 12th, 2023. <coughs> Still the 17th for the 12th, 2023, and today seems to be uh, a mixture of um, banging in sequence to threats to say you're a paedophile, being smashed and being knife dead and whatever else, to hitting my penis about with a loud bike time, wanking and coming. Uh, we're looking at at least 50 plus bikes in so many minutes, so I'm not sure how many exactly, but here it is, it's all in there. So, how does it work? for noise in the building if they can stop time and allow bikes to erect trees. <clears throat> well firstly you have the main entrance to door to the staff office which is usually shut. In there you can hear nothing at all. In that part of the corridor you can hear nothing at all. When we reach the next few steps you have another fire door. You go through that fire door and then you have the steps that go to the flats on one side and the garden on the other side and then another way to go towards all the other flats in the direction where I live. You can hear nothing at all in that section, even on the worst of days. But if Matty or another neighbour is shouting, then you can hear what's going on in the garden. But you won't hear the banging or anything like that, it'd be dead quiet. When you go through the next fire door, through the next passage, which consists of three flats, then you can hear things very, very faintly. And, uh, but the banging and all that, would be eliminated because the structure of the building you don't get the vibration as you do on the upper levels or hear the aggression you just hear the taps they just be like faint taps once you reach the next fire door go through that and up, further upwards you hear everything so that's how it works that's how the structure of the building works I see they're cutting me up on this, I haven't got the fucking story yet. The fucking setups are off the fucking scale. Right, this is the first five minutes going out. If I can get my fucking say about the government fucking slaughter and action at me for a few seconds. Right, there's been about 15 more loud bikes tying to a direction since I've uh, left the road to come here. Um, I've not managed to state it down because I'm in the middle of fucking trying to do things at the same time. Sorry about that, I'm being choked by a catalytic converter. Yes, a catalyst, Christ, catalyst. You fucking sick-minded cunt. You crap fucking bastard, black and fucking blue sick, Christ. You little cunt. Well, um, hang on, there's a road, hang on. The, the usual road, grey. Probably black and blue sick white next. Too grey. Hang on, I need to stop this. So my willy's gone up another 20 fucking times in a matter of just five fucking minutes and they've needed to time a loud bike in my direction or a loud bike in the distance and a bike wheelie at me and a bike, um, a loud bikes in the area. Um, also, there's been a girl aged about five saying, uh, burglary just, paedophile smash up, Justin said. Uh, the girl's been told to say this. Um, then we have, uh, choked by catalytic converter. 
and then obviously a load of setups on the road. And there's something I need to mention, but I can't do it at the moment because I've got a load. Uh, next bike call, bike to Willie Christ. Willie's up bike. There's a real malicious setup that occurred just before I managed, before I got here, which is not on the sheet at all, bike. Yeah, the government are fucking hitting it out with a bike, I tell you. There's been over 400 loud bikes tying to an erection today, and it's not even 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Yesterday, we hit about 600 loud bikes tying to an erection, every impulse, tying to wanking and coming every stage, tying to the willy dripping come out, tying to impulses shoot and come, tying to an itchy bum hole, tying to when my willy itches, tying washing my penis in the shower today. No matter what it is, they got my willy fucking constructed with a loud bike fixed like a fucking pulley, and I'm fucking fuming. Right, the average setups are about as nasty as what they were this day last year and the year before. But the suggestion made is a lot nastier this year than what it was last year. But the year before was quite nasty. They ain't giving me a say at the moment. There are about 50 black and blue cars, sick cars, sexual cars, knife shaped included. Several of those. And a car with one light out. Right, the day before yesterday, if I can get my say, I mentioned there was about 50 people trying to sneeze in my face, right? And obviously yesterday was bad for it as well. Well, where they've actually timed people to actually sneeze and it hit my face, there's actually, I've actually got a sore throat and got a fever that's similar to uh, hay fever. So I'm not a very happy fucking person at the moment. Because the government are doing this on purpose. They've put me in traps, forced me out of the direction I want to go into, to deliberately time someone to sneeze directly in my face. So I'm not fucking happy about it. Because I've got a sore throat because of it. I hope we can get through the last few cars, the black and blue, sick, grey, white, whatever, or sexual, I might be able to have a say. Right, what I wanted to say is when I was walking past, to cut just before I came here, I've got to say it's separate so it's not on sheet. Um, there's basically a setup to tell me that if Jesus is not born by you kicking out your baby, getting Jesus to return through you, claiming I'm the devil's son, pregnant with Jesus, then you're just going to be left for dead and ripped to fucking pieces. That's what the government are applying. Well, with this inaction shit, it's been going on for many years. Back in 2008, enemies were actually saying, you're not going to get a fucking Christ returning through him when he's never fucking had sex properly with anyone. And they were going on about Wayne's World at the time, saying that they're trying to, yeah, doing it deliberately. Saying that the government are crooked, and that's 2008. And then uh, there's where all the twat th threats were in. And then it sort of ended in that area. Threats changed. But the government gone back a few stages, gone back to their stupidity of doing this, saying they want Jesus Christ to return at me and saying I'm the devil's son, and saying that I'm going to be dead if Jesus Christ doesn't get his guts out of me, and then saying you're supposed to fuck people that raped you as a child, you failed to get Jesus to come return them while enjoying sex, being raped as a child, is the way the government sees it. So I'm not very fucking happy. So basically saying that I have to enjoy sex with someone raping me as a child and because I've refused to get Jesus to come kick out my belly being fucked about with uh, you're going to be ripped to pieces and fucking taken uh, taken off and your life ripped to fucking ripped to fucking part. That's, that's exactly what they've been doing for the last 30 odd 40 years. Don't fucking eat. Don't eat. We'll put a fucking catalytic converter in your fucking throat. Unexpected as I start eating. Also, they spread his shit all over this field. Right, I make it through the field. I've eaten what I needed to eat. Um, gun sh looking mixed with a black... It's like a black sexual car that's gun looking at the same time. Uh, timed. And um, someone says, Justin, you're sick. Everything lost. And someone different says, Justin, your life's lost. Although I recorded um, yesterday and filmed it or whatever... There was a few setups I didn't actually manage to um, uh, state as such, but I have written it down. It's probably in the actual... I've probably filmed it and it's probably in the video, but I want to go into more detail. <coughs> Yesterday's setups was basically to tell me, while struggling to mention a bit about the um, making a suggestion of me being pregnant with Jesus or whatever, which is a load of bullshit, they're trying to make the suggestion, which also occurred yesterday, is that we're going to give you a flu or very bad cold or some disease to knock you out, keep you on your fucking, keep you in bed, so that we can fucking hit you off after Christmas if Jesus Christ doesn't return. Uh, and obviously with the sore throat that I got, I'm not a very fucking happy person, believe me. That specific path, there's never usually more than about six people going up and down it. Where since I've been here, there's been over 20 people going up and down it, and I'm not very happy. 
and also you've got a seagull and a crow, oh, sorry, a crow saying, or a bird tweeting, saying that you're a child molester, don't be a knife dead, and all the rest of it. Same sort of stuff I always mention, just a repeat of it. I was saying that there's been over 20 odd people down this path, it's actually we're over that, and that's uh, well above how many I've seen in the past down there. If we were to rewind and say I came back up here last year, I don't know the exact date, but I've definitely been up here in December last year at days. It doesn't have the uh, atmospheric feeling or the cha it has a different change of look than what it did last year, this time last year. Last year it was atmospheric, it felt okay. It was okay, it wasn't the best displaced, but it's uh, nice. This year just doesn't, doesn't have it at all. It just feels like a slum, like walking around a town basically. I don't know why it's dropped or you don't get that uh, pleasant feel about it, but just why I let you know. Right, so it's been allowed bike four times. Um, there's been a crow saying uh, the same stuff I've been mentioning. Dog barks you're a paedophile mental, mental case, a uh, mental cunt, sorry. And uh, someone says they're going to smash me and play your fucking sick cunt. A woman's just said uh, mental case. And uh, another loud bike to an erection. I usually go for a walk down that fucking road there. The amount of trouble I just had down there is beyond belief. You're looking at about 50 cars passing, being choked by a catalytic converter, someone shouting hospital just. It seems to be by the football team, in fact, or whoever's or whatever's there. I haven't had any threats from them yet, but I don't know. Um, and then obviously someone's shouted dead, but again, I think that's part of the um, noise made through the football team or whatever it is. Though I can't be sure of that until any more threats occur so I can make out what's being said. A neighbour has mentioned something about this. Well, just notice this. Right. Um, sounds like child abuser being shouted, but yeah, I just wanted to mention the weather. Um, yesterday was the third cloudy, rainy day since um, June. So there is actually another day where it's uh, cloudy, and that was yesterday. However, a lot of the photos I took didn't really come out that good. Um, and I can't go today because it's Sunday and it's brightening up after today. Um, so, um, come the evening, or well, not the evening, uh, about two-ish in the afternoon, it did start to become sunny, hazy sunshine, and then eventually full sunshine. So, but you did get mm -hmm, just under three quarters of a day of cloud, which was in good enough to, for me to do what I needed to do, but it could have been better. Today has basically been... As you can see there, blue skies, sunshine and uh, cloud. Um, luckily I've got uh, quite a bit of cloud, but there has been a sort of, if I was to say, over the whole day, um, regardless if I've been in, in or out, I say there's been a level pegging of sunshine and a level pegging of cloud, so roughly about the same in the amount. So half cloud, half sun throughout the day, roughly. So um, about the same amount of each for today, so yeah. Child molester, run you down, you sick cunt, shouted by those footballers or people that are playing sports. And that was definitely said. Right, the evening before yesterday, because yesterday evening I had a migraine and I had to put up with Matty saying he's going to fucking knife me, take my fucking life, rip my fucking head off, inject me with whatever, like HIV and venom, and to, to smash my fucking brains out, to fucking knock, knock me fucking flying, to kill me on child molester and sexuality grounds when I never had anything in my life bashing the door, making loud noises, banging like anything, shouting his head off, getting aggressive, saying, I'm not fucking afraid of any of you. I'll bash your fucking brains out. I'm working out to fucking kill you. I'm going to manslaughter you. I'm going to break your fucking bones. I'm going to put you in a fucking wheelchair, hospital fucking bed. I, you're a fucking rapist. You're a fucking... Not supposed to look at... You're supposed to be with Lisa. Supposed to be with Shingles Attraction. They were just getting fucking nasty like that persistently for about an hour and a half while I was in bed trying to sleep off a fucking migraine. Anyway, <clears throat> it didn't calm down. Every 42 minutes past the hour, which is my age, and every quarter past, 16 minutes past, which is my door number, incidentally, Matty's getting nasty in particular, but he's actually waiting until Peter goes outside for a fag, and then he's kicking off aggressively. And uh, obviously, when I'm waking up, I'm being forced to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning because he's banging when uh, Peter sometimes goes out very late for a fag. So, yeah, I'm not very happy about it. He's one of those that doesn't sleep. Um... And he has these sort of, well he's one of those unusual looking people, a bit like Dan Morgan, my ex-mugger. So he has like an alien extraterrestrial sort of characteristics in the face. Doesn't mean he is alien. 
I'm just saying that's the actual facial look that he has and he's not bloody happy with me and I don't know why just seems to be sexuality all the time and got taken into account sexuality has still not had anyone and then there's also stuff that he's been saying like you've got to be with single mothers you've got to be with stale, stale pieces of shit not supposed to have a sexual people you're supposed to go with rough skin you're a sick cunt if you don't go with rough skin even the government with setups are, are suggesting that and they're not taking into account that I've never had anyone before and then they're moaning about me get, claiming I'm Satan's son and won't get Jesus Christ to fuck the guts out of me you know um, but they're doing it in a twisted way as I was mentioning earlier Anyway, going back to this uh, laptop issue of losing all my data because of uh, administration problems, I took it to the staff and all the rest of it, where the battery went flat. But I was saying to some extent, they, they, they said that at least it's usable. So I can use the laptop, but the uh, data was not retrievable. So I have lost that data, but I have um, got bits and pieces off of Facebook. But what I accidentally done is I've accidentally deleted a specific thing that I can't get back. And... Um, it's caused me to lose the um, comments underneath and there's about 50, 60 comments of all my problems. Um, so that section's lost unfortunately. And obviously the quality of my photos are a bit lower than I initially wanted them. And obviously the ones I took yesterday weren't great pictures but they're doable. I'm not going to keep on pissing about getting them again. It's just that my camera's, you know, oh, oh, I can't, I don't know. Anyway, as I said on another video, I have ordered another laptop, which has cost me a ton, so, you know, just hope that we don't get this issue again. It'd be a, it's a shame, you see, because of disk drive. If I, I keep things on disk, because disk's the most reliable format, you see. CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, M-discs, although I've never used Blu-ray, I know what they are. Then you've got the M-discs. I have used M-discs, and that's the only disk I've never had a problem with, is the M-disc. Um, or CDs, actually. I think that there might have been some that got holes or whatever when you look to the CD at light where a deterioration over the years where it's caused a, the CD to jump but an actual whole CD to mess up or were not playable I don't think I've ever had a recorded disc that I've done that's play, messed up apart from the one uh, from the company Woolworths which is uh, an old um, superstore on the high street called Woolworths which sells a mixture of things their discs did fuck up but in the time I was using these discs, I didn't use them, but I know someone who did and they were fucking up. And there's also the Memorex ones, uh, one of the batches of the Memorex were, were faulty as well. Um, but that goes back to 2005. Since that time, um, I've never had any CDs bugger up. DVDs I have, um, but again it's not that often but they do bugger up and the quality when you're recording on DVD is a lot worse than if you were to record on a CD. My favourite is the M-Disc. The M-Disc is the most reliable one I've ever used and the clarity is just normal. There's always going to be a quality loss when you've burned something to a disc, regardless of what it is. But once it's on that disc, that quality will remain the same for years and years and years. It won't deteriorate. Where with USB sticks and hard drives or online storage, eventually after time it'll go more muffled or you'll start to have the high pass range go and the volume will deteriorate you know because well, that's what happens when stuff is uh, kept on electronics this is why when they make music discs and they reissue music they often remaster it from the original dat tape or the original record or wherever they're taking it from because obviously the quality just drops when it's all left on the um, digital electronics but when it comes to discs, like CDs, DVDs, M-discs or Blu-ray, they're pretty much they're reliable. But uh, for the higher byte rate, say you have a 50 gigabyte disc, which I've never used, but um, I'd recommend the M-disc because they're more reli but reliable than the Blu-ray. But unfortunately, they stopped making those M-discs. Same for the CDs, same for the DVDs and the Blu-ray. I don't know why, but they have. I say they stopped making discs, though I can't guarantee that 100%. And I've spoken to a few people recently who don't believe that they will stop making discs because uh, discs are very handy for different types of things like keeping family documents safe, alternative to um, uh, online storage or USB or um, hard drive or whatever. And obviously when it comes to audio files, as I was saying, quality reduction uh, reduces quite a lot over a period of so many, so many years. So maybe they haven't stopped making them, I don't know might surprise you to let you know that there's some um, 
some sexual disco club music playing which is all the good life stuff that everyone listens to the very commercial popular stuff the chart stuff and uh, not the sort of music I like to be honest right in the past staff at supported housing have uh, had a moan at me or whatever saying that um, the reason that Matty's in the mood for you is probably because you sent your post it on the internet but that's not true because at the time I was getting threats back then he was thinking I was Savan and he's also thought I was Liam as well at one point I think that was the earliest time when I moved there and then obviously it went on to John for a little while then obviously my name Justin but uh, the Savan and the Justin in particular Justin's my real name but none of the others um, that's when all the um, the nastiest two names of the nastiest threats that have occurred but now in the most recent times, he thinks that the Savan has changed his name to Justin, which is not true. My name stayed the same all my life. Um, anyway, when it comes to social media or anything like that, um, I've also been told by another staff member that a person like Matty wouldn't even bother going on the internet to look for you. People like that, uh, if they don't like you or don't know you, they don't give a, give a damn, don't give them monkeys. So, obviously, that's a bit contradictory, but... Um, one of the neighbours uh, located one of my channels once, um, which is Peter, I get on all right with him. And um, he, um, again, the order of the uh, issue or the threats or whatever, and the sort of stuff that's being mentioned, Peter didn't really say much, but he knew that um, it wasn't caused by the internet at that time. So, anyway, I'll leave it there on that subject. Uh, about six months ago, or just under, I was moaning to staff about a specific issue. There's a thing that was happening at my old place, and they were refusing to do anything about it, or looking into it, or doing nothing at all. When I first moved there, um, the social worker, Becky, said that this won't happen at my new place. What was going on at my, at my old place? It only happened for three days, and I was a bit moody about it, so... Um, Obviously, Matty, he got his weapon ready uh, and shouted at me and kicked his door, but he didn't actually come out to the main fire door, just the door way to his place, because otherwise he'd be on CCTV otherwise. Um, even though the CCTV was down, apparently the staff say that it was recording at that time when this incident occurred. That's all in the past. I want to go back to a, a, a slightly further incident where it was a police incident. Um... Now this is a police incident this time. It's the last police incident of when I actually um, reported Matty. Um, when he was going out with his, at the time I thought it was a girl or a friend of his, you know, a child, but I didn't realise it was actually his partner. But obviously he's a young chap, so in his mid-20s, something like that. So the lady's sort of going to be, sort of some, you know, like 16, 18 or whatever the age is, I don't know. Lois Trawley and then Matthew Honeysett. So, you know, they're a couple. Anyway, I won't go into his details of his name because I shouldn't be doing that really. Right, um, anyway, he passed me in the corridor. Helen Lewis, a staff worker, was on that night and he um, basically said, and I say, you're going to fucking take your life. I'm going to knife you down. You aren't going to be here. You're going to fucking be shot fucking dead. And just say hello, of, um, you'll be a break as fucking arms are fucking legs I'll take you out, you've been taken out of the road so I ignore the rest of it. In a hard accent, a very hard gangster type accent walking out. So I walked up the stairs and ignored Helen and she went <coughs> Anyway, I reported it to the police because I wasn't happy about it and I thought, well Helen's definitely heard that. So when I did, Helen dis uh, dis uh, disagreed with everything I said so I thought, oh well. And then the police told me that I could get, I'm going to get in very serious trouble if I call him again. Saying that um, uh, the staff didn't hear nothing. They said he just walked out and said, you, you were both there at the same time. Helen was there and there's nothing so at all that he said. And he definitely said something. And he definitely said what I told you. So, at that time, the police told me, uh, they're giving me a caution, basically, and saying next time you report that specific neighbour, we're going to have to make an arrest for wasting police time, um, making allegations without evidence. 
and then the police told me that you have to report anything to the staff and then this, when I phoned the staff out to mention problems they just said oh no there's nothing happening he's not here or he's not here and when he is and I've also got audio recordings to prove uh, negative days at that time and uh, the social worker agreed although it hasn't been connected to the two sides the social worker agrees there is noise there is shouting but um, obviously I keep that separate from the social worker from the staff at supported housing so um, the, the bad thing was is when he said it he was facing the opposite direction to the CCTV camera and walking out but uh, since that time I've not reported him to the police and for several reasons and the staff said there won't be any trouble between me or Matty because he doesn't know you and he's agreed to be happy and that there'll be no trouble unless you step out of line and say something that you shouldn't, shouldn't have said or cause trouble in some form of way uh, or whatever and they say you don't do that so you only hold the door open or say all right and you walk past so I say if it's like that there should be no problems so I don't know what the future holds but we've just got Christmas around the corner so let's just see shall we I was just about to head on back actually but I've had to change my direction I thought I'd go back for another walk before I do because there's a load of people down there having an argument with me they're moaning because I'm walking past a play school well the problem is where I live which is Eastville the only way to get out of my place to go into the town is past Southville down past where Aldi's and Farm Foods is there's a play school there next to the Elim Church and you've got to go that way because that's the only way if you go down the next road by going up on the estate and going down the next road in, in, in the same sort of direction you pass another school which is a primary school or some form of school so whatever way you go that's the only other alternative unless you go towards the top of Yeovil which is going towards the main dual carriageway roundabout which takes you about a mile out before you and then you'd have to go back into the town that way which defeats the objective when you can just go down the actual proper way to get into the town that way and the only other alternative way to that is to go the back way which takes you at the back of um, where Little is I'm not sure the name of the roads down there which is up where near which is, takes you right outside Penn Mill um, railway station and then you'd have to go into the town taking another alternative route so basically the only option realistic option is to actually pass a play school and everyone in the building has to go that way because it's the only proper way to get into the town and to go back so that's what they're moaning me, at me about these people um, someone says um, knife you're dead you're just in a paedophile um, coming from either where the sports plane is taking place or someone walking past in the field there not 100% sure but I think it's the busiest that path's ever been there's been about another seven people down that path bringing the total to well over 30 um, I've known it busy but for the type of path it is it's not a path where you get that many sort of people no more than what four people or maximum sometimes when I come up here so yeah I've been forced off again and there's been another threat um, you paedophile fancy jammer sad cunt shouted fucked up shouted basically what's happened is with the Gemma threat it's because she's turned 31 people are shouting from the distance they can't hear me but um, you had to get nasty about it because I'm 42 and they think it's sick and I've been told that I'm also a sick cunt if I fancy Polly who's age 35 um, that's another one they're fucking digging out at the moment and also Heather and Alicia are two others Alicia's from Burnham-on-Sea originally from Lavington and um, Heather's the one that works I believe that's her name I'm not 100% sure the lady that works in Boots um, at Burnham-on-Sea but previously worked in W.H. Smith I can't guarantee that was her name because um, I wanted to try and see if she's single at one point is when she was smiling at me and saying uh, she's interested but the problem is the Savemfra came in didn't it like they did with this Laura business at Tesco's that I've mentioned anyway I'll leave it there Carl makes the sound go no you dead there's been another six people past me people are starting to wonder what I'm doing down the path so um, I was telling my dad on the phone that um, basically I wanted to do a nice walk I was going to go back and do a walk but looks like they're going to make my decision for me I'm going to have to go back
see so God making it clear saying that I'm a paedophile but very clear so that everyone else can work out what's being said and uh, make a few other sounds as well I'll show, I'll show you the sheet in a bit but um, I just wanted to mention of this specific road here there's just two old, la uh, two old people one about 70 one and roughly the same age just having a conversation and saying they've never known this road so busy uh, in their whole life where I'm shocked at that because nearly every time I come down here it's three times busier than what it is now on a regular day so how they're saying that I don't know but that's definitely what they were saying that's our core timing black and blue I'm being thrown off course that was a beta van by the way black and blue and black and blue again and black grey started cars in the other direction than people uh, paedophile threats uh, more cell calls and obviously the government put me in this direction a uh, sick car time you know the government absolutely going fucking that case on me sexual car down the street grey there we are, black and blue, sick, grey Downing Street, or grey sick. Yeah, fucking screwed up Downing Street. 